right, people, here we go. Let's do this. Kick back, relax, give us a call. Breakfast is ready. Kaylee, take my car. Turn back. No, don't do that. What do you want with me? Vous allez participer à ce rendez-vous. Hello. Hello, Chloe. How are you? How are you, Matt? I'm good. I'm excited for I'm tonight, so French time, because this is morning here in Los Angeles. Yes, yes, 11.30 here in Los Angeles, 8.30 p.m. in Paris. Welcome to everyone to the Paris Art and Movie Awards 2020 Film Festival. This year we celebrate the 10 year anniversary of this film festival, which is an independent film festival created for filmmakers by filmmakers. Now, in previous years, normally you would have to be in Paris in order to get this exclusive look at the screenings of these films. But this year, due to the pandemic, the festival has gone virtual, thanks to the folks over at Cinecapsule, which came together this year to create this platform so that you know the show must go on, so that we can move this festival over virtually. So we have had an incredible week filled with screenings of amazing, amazing uh, films, Q and A's, a masterclass by James Morrissey. And now here we are at the award ceremony. So we're gonna have some wonderful guests here tonight that are gonna be revealing the winners. And before I pass the mic on over to you, Matt, the festival director, I just wanna say thank you to you, Matt. Thank you to the entire PAMA team for for having me and for giving me the opportunity during the pandemic to put on makeup, to put on a dress, and at the same time wear my comfiest slippers. So it's a dream come true. Thank you, Matt. I'm happy you like it. I'm happy you like it. You did a great job and you got to do a great job tonight too. No pressure, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's been, it's been 10 years, 10 years since we created the Paris Art and Movie Awards. So uh, we kind of made it. Uh, we didn't expect in the beginning that this was going to last that long with that much success. And actually going digital, we had some fears. We didn't know what to expect. And it was a great success thanks to all the filmmakers who participated in the festival and all the people who connected to Cinecapsule mm. to watch the films, basically. So we met the audience and that's what's important for a film festival. Absolutely. A couple of things I want to say can to celebrate the, the, the 10th anniversary um, movies that stopped to the Paris Art and Movie Awards at some point uh, got to the Academy Awards, to the Oscars. Some of them got to, to the BAFTA Awards. Some of them got to the Emmy Awards after we screened them in Paris. Uh, we have movies that uh, were selected to Tribeca, to the Film Quest, to the Cannes Film Festival, or the Nashville Film Festival which is a big one too. And um, also it's worth mentioning that some of the films, feature and short films that went through the PAMA at some point got distribution deals from Amazon to independent companies to Paramount Studios. So we believe we have a work to do and a mission to fulfill, to help and support filmmakers. And um, this year is no um, exception. We have big names, we have big stars, you've seen the movies, maybe you've, you've seen the trailer a few minutes ago, 
but we also have the new wave, the new generation of filmmakers, um, women, men, um, directors, talents, actors, editors, um, cinematographers. We have technical and artistic categories, and tonight we're going to celebrate all these people. Insane. And everything starts with a script. Absolutely. When you make a film, you need a script, and everything starts with a script. So we're going to start right away with the best short script category. We're going to welcome Melora Walters with us. Melora uh, is joining us from um, California. She was a jury member this year. So do we have Melora with us? Yes. Hello. Yes, you're here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you again. How are you today? Nice. Good, good. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming by because uh, we, we've done a live show with you uh, last week to discuss your jury experience and how you how you get to appreciate it because it seems like you liked it to watch uh, a lot of movies. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to share a little bit uh, just for those who may have missed the previous show, um, how was it to review the films uh, from so many different countries, so many different talents? Um, okay, so first I want to thank you for inviting me because it's an honor to be part of this. Um, and it was just amazing and such an inspiration to see so many films, um, you know, because it's pure creativity. And I think, like you said, uh, everything starts with a story. So, and that story starts with a person by themselves in a room with a laptop or a notebook with nothing. And from that, you create a magic yeah. and the commitment involved to write to have the courage to send it out the commitment involved to make any kind of film a short feature um that alone I, I just think it's very important that everyone that's you know submitted and is showing that uh, that alone is worth an award and that's your gift and, and whether you get you know the name or the actual award uh, never, never stop because you're here, you did it, and just keep going. I, I love you to say because there is a very, a, a very true value to a festival nomination. Just yes. making the cut to be here from more than 1,200 uh, submissions uh, at first, this is a victory already. Yes. Uh, just want to mention two things. Uh, we have in this category, the best short script category, we have two alumni artists. We have Esther Angelosi, who was with us, uh, I think it was in 2016, uh, with a music video. And now she's back with a short script. So she's already kind of in the family, and we welcome her back. And we have another one, who's Geoffrey Gould. Geoffrey won uh, with the same script, or another one, with the same script. He won the Hollywood Art and Movie Awards we had in January. You know, before the world collapsed. We had a festival in Santa Monica. And the small brother of the Paris Art and Movie Awards. And Geoffrey was with us. And uh, so he's an alumni already. And he's back. And that's, that's meaningful to us. Because that means people trust the festival and what we do. Because they come back and they keep submitting. So that's uh, very important to me as a festival director. Amazing. The nominees for best short scripts are First envelope for best short script. Da -da -da -da. Disappearing Alley, written by Warren Paul Glover. Yeah, good, 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 good. I present it to you. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, it's a script that comes from Australia. Hello, Paris. This is Warren Paul Glover from Sydney, Australia. 
Thank you so much for the Best Short Script Award for Disappearing Ali. Such a thrill to receive the award. Um, a real honour. Uh, thank you so much. All the best. Amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. I wish I was in Paris. I wish we were all in Paris. I know. And I could, you know. <laughs> Give it hand to hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a real human. <laughs> Amazing. And now we go into the feature scripts category. So at PAMA, we accept uh, scripts in English, en français, y en español. And this year, we accepted scripts from six different countries. So it was a uh, very competitive field. And here are the nominees for best feature script. Melora, let us know who is the winner. Okay, first I'm just gonna, I have to say that the music and the presentation, it's its really moving. I'm getting very emotional. So envelope number two, best feature script. Taken away, drum roll, written by Catherine Hill. Okay, taken yeah, away is the script from Canada. Thank you, Paris Art and Movie Awards. What an incredible honor. I'm so extremely excited. Uh, thank you to the judges uh, for recognizing Taken Away. Uh, this goes out to the single mothers and the vulnerable children who are being taken away by an unjust and unfair system. I can't wait to bring the screenplay to the screen and thank you so much for being a part of that. Congratulations. 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 Oh, Menora, thank you for being with us. Thank you for supporting the artists and for the nice words uh, you said to everyone. We really appreciate it. So be ready because I think I'm going to call you back sometime to okay. uh, doing this. Okay. Love it. Yes. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. We're going to have a surprise for you guys after these first two winners. Um, the festival stops tonight, Paris time, but you're going to have until October 4 to catch on on the films, all the films and all the documentaries and all the content we put online on Cinecapsule. We are having a replay, a full replay of the festival. Because it's digital, there is no reason not to do it. So if you have your pass, just keep it and keep watching movies and keep catching up on the movies you and will And you have. said the festival starts tonight, the festival ends tonight. But you can be watching it for a week. <laughs> I was Absolutely. like, so today, what have we been doing for a week? It kind of never stops when you run a festival. So you I love it. <laughs> Love Let's get to the documentary category. So uh, we're going to welcome Etienne. Um, Etienne, are you with us? I see. Yeah. Hey, Hello, Matt. So, Hello, Chloe. Thank you for having me. I was expecting you to be on the beach because you are in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much wind on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so, Etienne, you're a director. Uh, mm -hmm. You know about documentary because you make a lot of them, at least the documentary style video. Yeah. And uh, we had the chance to um, select one of your film that stars Jason Momoa, Aquaman. Yeah. We had him, uh, We had the movie that was last year in uh, a UK Valley Film Festival, which we also run. And we had the pleasure to meet in person, and you spent three days here. So we wanted to welcome you and to uh, and to have you to present you. the next uh, award. Thank you so welcome. much. We really appreciate you being here. So let's see who the nominees are for this category. All right. The winner of Best Documentary 
goes to all its name implies. Direct all its name implies. Congrats. Yes. Okay. Congratulations. It's a documentary about the paradise, uh, the campfire that burned down the city of paradise. And we had a long, very interesting talk with the director, F. Durand, uh, last week. And uh, yes. if you didn't watch it, watch it because this documentary is just beautiful. Cool. Well, I don't know what to say. Um, thought I would video this in case the last time some of you guys see me. Wow, it's, really... it's intense. It's just a clip, but it's intense. Yeah, yeah especially okay. with everything that's going on now with the wildfires, you would think he shot yeah. that this year, but he didn't. So it's it's very it's still relevant. Hello, I am Ev Duran. I'm the director of the film All Its Name Implies. I'm so excited and so grateful that the film has won Best Documentary at the Paris Art and Movie Awards. Thank you so much to Matt, to Chloe, to everyone who helped put on this fantastic event. It means the world. Uh, to me and my co-producer Monique Burtwell, we're, we're, we're so grateful for this honor. We share it with everyone in paradise, uh, a wonderful and amazing community up there full of such strong and resilient people who were brave enough to share their stories with us. Thank you all so much. We love you. Uh, thank you. So congratulations, Ev. Congratulations, Ev. So excited. And now uh, we go into the art photography category. And now Pama has held art exhibitions uh, since 2015, which is actually when this category began at this festival. And we have exhibited in Montparnasse, in Saint-Germain-des-Prés, on the Champs-Élysées over the years. So it's definitely a very prestigious category. And here are the nominees for Best Art Photography. For best art photography goes to Julian Grimm with Julian Grimm, the French guy. Yes. He kind of loves Congratulations, Julian. We had two, um, two interviews with uh, all of the photographers I listed this year, uh, one with Julien and one with the two other guys. I really encourage you to take a look. It's already uh, available for free on YouTube and Facebook on the Paris Art Movie Awards pages. Uh, they explain how they came up with taking these pictures, all the stories, how he met the Chicanos, how we get to become friends with them and how how it just happened. So that's kind of fascinating to go beyond the, the picture, beyond the image, and to learn how it was made. Coucou, c'est Julien Graham, le photographe de la série Chicano Live. J'aimerais vraiment un énorme merci au Pama et à Matt Berroy pour, pour ce prix. Je suis vraiment très honoré. Merci encore de d'avoir vraiment aimé mon travail. Et voilà, ça fait vraiment très très plaisir. Et voilà, super. Merci à vous. Yes, congrats, Julian, and thank you, Etienne. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Opportunity to present. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> All right, and now we go right into the marketing section of the festival. Yeah. Now, this is new at PAMA, and the categories include best poster and best trailer. So two elements which are so crucial in getting all of your hard work out there to the rest of the world. So Matt, who is presenting the winners for these categories? We're gonna welcome Gérard Sousson with us. Gérard, are you with us? There Gérard, is. how are you? I'm fine, and you? We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. So you are in Los Angeles, you are an attorney. Uh, I'm in my uh, office and it's sunny. Yeah, we can see the view, uh, which is kind of impressive already. And when we are, we've been working together already, and uh, the view from your office is just quite amazing. So, uh, thank cool. you. Um, Got to say, uh, you know a little bit about um, movie making because you've been working with uh, Danny Boone, Patrick yes. Bruel. Uh, you've been working with the um, the big uh, French film festival, the Colcoa, that happens in Los Angeles every year. So you yes. are a bit in the community already. Yes, I am. And you like it, do you? Yeah, very much. 
<laughs> so you are going to present the first award, uh, which is for the best poster. Let's take a look at the nominees of the best poster. Beautiful, beautiful. I think it's time. You have the first envelope, Gerard. The first envelope. The winner for best movie poster is Tides Are Changing. Tides Are Changing, amazing. So this is the blue one. Congratulations. It's, congratulations. It's, uh, let's take a look at it. We are very proud to have this film and this poster this year. It was also, uh, it's also a nominee for the best animated film. It's That's kind right. of a feminist fable about two women helping each other to fight, uh, to fight a bad guy, basically, and survive. And it's beautifully made. Hi, I'm Maria Biednodotev. And I'm Dinah Kalaha. And this is our film, Tights Are Changing. We just want to thank you for including us in your festival and we hope you like the film. So congrats to the, the team of the team. And now we go into the trailer category. So I always say that the, the trailers are an art in and of itself. And it plays such a monumental role um, in selling your film to distributors and of course uh, to the public at large. But I know a lot of distributors, sometimes they won't even look at the entire film. They'll just look at the trailer and decide based off of that if they're going to give you a distribution deal. So if you have an amazing movie and the trailer is not up to par with the movie, you might not land that distribution deal. So it is so important to have a good trailer. And I'm so excited that Pam, I included this category in the festival because it's such an important part of the entire process. So let's take a look at the nominees for best trailer. Please reveal the winner for best trailer. The winner for best movie trailer is Thy Neighbor. Okay, Thy Neighbor. Congrats to George and all the team of Thy Neighbor. George, is, um, it's exactly kind of what we're looking for uh, at the Paris Auto Movie Awards. He's independent. He put his own money into his film. He edited the trailer himself. He made the poster himself. He's wow. a kind of a self-made man filmmaker. And uh, we are, I'm very happy they won because they put a lot of effort and passion into this project. And uh, the other ones are also just amazing, but uh, we've had a big, big talk with, uh, with George and the team and I'm very happy they won. Amazing, let's take a quick look. You were a pretty angry man. Do you still wrestle with it just, just once in a while? He's reminding me of old Zach, and it scares me. I don't think it's a good idea for you or Alex to go over there when I'm not around, okay? These two categories are very important, like you said, Chloe. And uh, when we create new categories at the Paris Art and Movie Awards, most of the time, it's because the filmmakers request them. That's how we created the best trailer. That's how we created the best drone category that's coming later. That's how we created the best composer and the music score category. So it really makes sense. Hey, Pama, this is George Johnson with Thy Neighbor. Just wanted to take a minute to thank you and the entire, everybody, the staff, everybody behind the event for the award of uh, best trailer for Thy Neighbor. Uh, I've let the entire team know everybody is ecstatic. We were just honored to be a part of this amazing festival. And we look forward to seeing you again next year, hopefully with our new film. And uh, in the meantime, take care. We'll see you then. Gerard, many, many thanks for being with us. We really appreciate it, uh, yes. taking time uh, off of your busy schedule to be with us. And uh, 
for inviting me. See you soon. Thank See you. you. Soon. Next one is a drone. I was talking yeah, about Yeah, yeah. Now we're going into the new media section. So the drone, like you said, Matt, is a, a new category. And that just makes you feel like with the technology evolving as fast as it is, what categories are you know are we gonna have next year and the year after that? Because who would have thought a few years ago that that there would be a drone category? So um, so excited. And Matt, who's presenting the next award? We're going to welcome someone coming from Palm Springs. We're going to welcome Brian Gallo with us. Brian, uh, please join us. You were a jury member. Brian, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Bonsoir, cool. bonjour. Hello, everyone. Bonjour. Thank you for being with us. You've been a jury member to the Paris Art and Movie Award last year. What, what do you remember of it? Well, I remember that was a, the first time I've ever done anything like that. So I remember uh, being able to, you know, watch the short films and make an assessment and kind of um, give my input, which again was a first for me. So it was fun. I liked it. And here I am again. <laughs> and you are from Bram Springs. You're um, joining us from Bram Springs because you work at the local NBC station. Am I correct? Correct. I work for NBC Palm Springs here in the Coachella Valley. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, the nominees for the best drone films. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Wow, I'm ready. Okay, this is probably this is your cue. This is the favorite part. This is your moment, Brian. <laughs> this is my big moment. All right. And the best drone award goes to. Unseen Australia, Chris Tangi. Unseen Australia, it's yeah. great who gets the award. So it was a kind of 50-50 because we only kept two uh, drone films this year. It's a new category. We really kept the two best ones. Mm -hmm. Either of them could have won, but the jury this year made a choice and picked um, Unseen Australia, which is amazing. Take a look at Chris Q&A that he taped from Australia because what he explains uh, on the way he captured these moments is just amazing. Ready? Wow. All right. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And to think back in the day, you had to like get a helicopter to like get those shots now. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually hard to like maneuver a drone. It kind of looks easy, but getting those smooth no. shots is actually really, really hard. So congratulations to, to Chris. Hello, everybody. I'm out here on the remote Udna Data track with a bit of a problem, but out here filming and heard that I won a, an award in Paris at Parma. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. All right. All right. Yes. Amazing, and now we go into the web series, which is actually a very popular category among the French. So yeah. we're with the French nominees this year, and um, some of the best web series in France actually end up at Pama. So all the ones that are that are here are so 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 good. So let's take a quick look at the nominees for best web series. Second and Yeah, drum roll, please. And there we go. Thank you, guys. Best web series goes to Le Corner by Mike Zonenberg. Le Corner, the Corner. Okay. Amazing. Wow. That's the most graphic web series we had this year. And it's actually more than a web series. It's kind of a web show that goes back uh, backstage into the, the way the characters die in movies and you have that guy the coroner who just makes an autopsy of the body and of the movie and the scene in which the character died let's take a look wow. calibre 45 balle entièrement chemise et métal un noyau d'alliage mou encastré dans une coquille d'acier ce revêtement offre au projectile une plus grande vélocité qui lui permet de transpercer n'importe quel corps that's just maybe you didn't understand it because it wasn't french <laughs> it's all right it gives me time to learn <laughs> Bonjour tout le monde, je suis le coroner et au nom de toute l'équipe de Chronique Fiction, je vous remercie de ce prix 
que vous nous avez donné, prix de la meilleure web série, on en est très fiers. Ça nous incite à continuer et à essayer de vous proposer encore un produit qualitatif et très intéressant. Je peux même vous dire qu'un nouveau personnage va venir agrandir la famille de Chronique Fiction dans les mois qui viennent. Voilà, merci encore. Thank you very much for this reward. We are very proud of it. And merci encore. Et n'oubliez pas, on peut rater sa vie, mais pas sa mort. This one is also going to be part. Every movie, every web series, every uh, show we have is going to be part of the replay on cinecapsule.com. So if you missed out on any film, any movie, if you just want to watch one of them, or if you want to watch all of them, you have until October 4 to catch up on Cinecapsule. Same pass, two euros for the whole festival, including the replay. So just enjoy it. Nice. Brian, thank you for being with us. Thank, thank you for taking you time. Yeah. And I hope My to pleasure. see you in person. You will see me soon. Be stay safe, guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you again. Bye. Be safe. Bye bye. We are going to the visual categories. So the visual categories include for us uh, the dance films, the experimental visual arts and motion movies, the animated films, the music videos, everything that has a very um, uh, prime visual element to it in the creation. We're going to welcome with us Lisa Lelievre. Please, Lisa, join us, uh, join us live. You are joining us from uh, San Francisco. Yes, it's a little sketchy, together. but That's I can the most hear you. Important. Yes. I was saying that uh, we got to meet you in 2019 in Paris yes. because you submitted with one of the films you made, one yes. of the dance films, yes. magnificent movie. Uh, and the movie was so good, we took it to mm -hmm. program it at the UK Valley Film Festival we had also in 2019. Well, he had a great success. I can tell you, Lisa, people still talk about that film to me every wow. time I go to the city. Yeah. So it really made an impression. Um, oh. Thank so you. that's it. Let's go, let's go to uh, take a look at the nominees of the best yeah. dance films. Lisa, do you have the first envelope for best dance film? I, I do. And the winner of best dance film is Silk City, directed by Miko Timonen. Silk City. Um, if I'm correct, it was made in Finland by Miko Timonen. And we had an uh, Instagram live with uh, Elena, Elena Gold, the dancer of the film which also has another film in the same category, Edgar. And uh, this is the first time in oh, the history okay. of that we have the same dancer listed twice in the same category the same year. Yeah. So she kind of made history and she's winning with uh, Timo's film, Silk mm -hmm. City. Congrats to them. Let's take a look. And I have to, I'd love to say yeah. really quick about, about that, that film was that it's not just a video of a woman dancing, you know, it has a beginning, middle and end. And at the end, in the last scene, when I hear them speak and everything ties together and, and I understand the story and I got goosebumps, I was like, oh my God, this is so good. So I'm, I'm so proud of her. Thank you so much for recognizing our film. Silk City would not exist without the passionate contribution from everyone involved. So this award means a lot for the whole team. Uh, special thank you to my directing partner, Aaron Judd. We had an amazing time collaborating with Elena Gold and choreographer Yor Milo, who really helped bring this ghost story to life. Thank you, Paris Art and Movie Awards. Congrats. Let's move to the visual arts in motion. Yes, yes. Now I think that there, there's always this false idea with, with experimental films, that experimental films are just kind of weird there's no structure it's just kind of like throw anything at the wall and that's not really always the case so here at pama this category is actually called visual arts in motions and 
the films really show you an alternative way than the norm to tell really powerful ideas in, in, in a different in a different way. So let's take a look at the nominees for visual arts in motion. All right, Lisa, please tell us the winner of Visual Arts in Europe. So, the winner of Best Visual Arts in Europe Girl by Haley Geffen. Hey, Girl by Haley Geffen. Okay, congrats. Congratulations. It's really one of these uh, experimental films that uh, is taking you by surprise. Lisa. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you. And uh, I thank, hope to see you. Thank you for person. having me. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Now, right. before we go on, let's just take a quick look at uh, Hey Girl. A New York City poem. If I yell my name out into the abyss, will somebody yell back? Next category is going to be, which animated. one is it? Best animated film, absolutely. For animated film, we are welcoming our specialist, Oregon. Please join us. Um, Oregon is a singer, songwriter, music artist, movie producer, and uh, she created the Paris Autumn Movie Awards uh, with me. So she's my partner in crime for... Uh, a long time. Um, Hello, guys. You are the, the specialist in the team regarding animated films because because you just love them. Yeah, indeed, I love animation film because you know there is basically no boundaries, no limits to the imagination of the creators and the animators and you are always surprised by the stories, by the graphic achievements. So I can say that years after years, it's such a pleasure to review all these great animated films. And it's always good. <laughs> it's always good. Most of the time when, when she watches the film um, uh, during the, the year, because we start receiving films in December usually, uh, she sends me messages like, you got to watch this one. You got to watch this one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I got to watch everything. So everything <laughs> is good. Let's take a look at the nominees for Best Animated <laughs> Film. Yeah. So the best animated film is The Train to Quinlan, directed by Sheer Baron. Okay, congrats, Sheer. That's so amazing. That's so we good. Were That's very, very good. All the ingredients of a good animation are inside this movie. So please look at it. It's very good. Look at it. Everything is on replay on cinecapsule.com. We had uh, the director and animator of the film share uh, on a live show uh, last week. And uh, believe it or not, she's working at DreamWorks now, thanks to this wow. film. Yeah. So the movie is. It's not good a surprise, in fact. It's not a surprise. The because it's good very good. Amazing. And she mentioned in that life, this is actually her thesis film, graduating from school. So she's got a big future ahead of her. I'm so proud. Hello, my name is Sierra Baron, creator and director of The Train to Chainlink. 
Thank you so much for this amazing award. I'm so humbled to know that you enjoyed my film. My film speaks about communication and how important it is to communicate with those who are different than you, even when words are not an option. So thank you for giving us this platform. And bye. The next category is um, music video. Music videos, yeah. And all the artists <laughs> really that, that uh, submitted their music videos are just are established musicians. And, and what's really cool is, is that Pama, there's just an array of genres from folk to metal. And they're all really, really great. So let's take a look at the nominees for best music. Let's go. Let's so, go for the results. Which one is gonna be? The winner for the best music video is Charlie Winston Lost in Memory, directed by Jan Roderick Gray. Awesome, awesome. This is and a very this is a very specific music video, and I know you like it very much. Tell, me, tell us why. Yes, because it's Something very interesting is that there is a double performance for me inside this music video. You have the incredible performance of the director and the entire crew to, to do one single take. It's one yeah. single take music video, so it's, it's incredible. And there is the performance of Charlie Winston because it was yeah. like singing one take, playing one take, so it was amazing. So congrats to them, really. Let's take a look. We're standing with strangers outside the school gates and waits for a bundle of joy that he made. Again, it's going to be on replay. You can watch it. It's a single take from mm -hmm. beginning to end. Hi, Parasite Movie Awards. Uh, just want to say a massive, massive thank you for awarding Charlie Winston's Lost in the Memories Best Media Video. Both Charlie and I are so, so chuffed, especially because there are so many amazing nominees uh, in the category. Uh, what an incredible festival, and we can't wait for next year. All right, again, thank you for uh, doing thank this. Thank you. Stay around because you are part of the direction of the show and you are doing some stuff backstage. So don't disappear, but uh, stay okay. okay. <laughs> thank you. The next guest we're going to have comes from Nashville, Tennessee, and he's going to be with us to present the soundtrack song and the score categories. Colt Barber, please join us. Colt, are you with us? There you are, my friend. Okay, so now the time. Now the time. Okay. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready. Yes. Yes. So you uh, are right. a recording artist, a singer, songwriter. You produce a lot these days, and uh, you have an album that came out last year. You just finished a big American cowboy showdown show in yep. Old Georgia, Alabama, Virginia, Tennessee. So you are a busy man, and we are very happy to have you here with us. Thank you. Let's for look at the nominees. It is an honor to be with you guys. I appreciate it, my friend. Let's take a look at the nominees for best soundtrack song. So, Colt, you ready? He would with the song A Beg from The Fisherman's Diary. Okay, the song is A um, The singer is A Wube, the song is A Beg, uh, and the movie is A Fisherman Diary. That's correct. That's correct. Awesome. Let's take a listen at that. You know, go get respect if you go day, if you go day, but if I know, try. To me, this is kind of the magic of the Barry Potter Movie Award because we have a song from Cameroon, Africa, that gets awarded in Paris, France, with a festival manager that's in Los Angeles, California. 
and a guy presenting the award is in Nashville, Tennessee. So when we say this is an international film festival, we mean it, guys, okay? Um, I want to thank Jesus Christ. Oh, you guys are the best for making me um, do the song of the movie. And bless B and um, Tillish who did the great sounds behind it. I had no idea this would happen. Um, thankful to God because, hey, the first category of Whatever I want, I get to win is something so international and so big. And this proves that when you do art, it works. When you make music that's art, it works. Write that down. Okay, now I can scream. <laughs> so awesome. Amazing. And now we go to the score, which is the music throughout the entire film. And it's so important because the score really lays the foundation of the tone of the movie and i know that because if i watch a scary movie i'll put like a happy jingle song because or else if i listen to the score i get you know i get very very nervous so the music definitely plays such an important and important yeah, role. previous nominees at pam i include vladimir cosma and david michael frame so it's definitely a it's a very prestigious category it is and then oh. and matt i know in in the year that vladimir cosma was was the nominee. I think he was like you know the big name in that year. It was a young, a French young female composer, French female composer that that won, uh, that won the category. Uh, she was running against um, many different older composers, including Vladimir Kosma, who's very well known, and she won the category because the judges decided that what she created was so emotional uh, that they wanted to support that. And, uh, and we are very proud that our jury member, they have to take big decisions uh, because when you make someone win, that may help them a lot to keep going right. in the career. And we want to do that. And our judges understand that. So uh, hat down to them because it's, uh, it's a big responsibility. Absolutely. Cool. So let's take a quick look at the nominees for best score. Yeah, thank you. Look at me. I don't have a horse yet, but maybe you can lend me one. Well, I know I can get several, so just hook me up, let me know and I'll hook you up. Cool. Thanks. The winner for the best score is De Bear and Muir, music composed by Bont Ice Sandra Stadler. Okay, Der Bar in Muir, it's a, it's a documentary from Switzerland wow. and actually the music you hear in the jingle we play uh, for the nominees comes from that uh, music score. No so that's way. Let's take a listen at it. It's a feature documentary and you have many different atmospheres in the film. Hi everyone, my name is Sandra. And my name is Benz. We are the composers of the music for the Berlin Year. We are so happy and honored to win the award for best composers at your festival. It means a lot to us to know that our music is heard and appreciated. We would like to thank all the musicians that helped us with find the soundtrack. Thank you, Roman, for making this movie and everyone who was involved in this amazing project. And also thanks to the jury and congrats to all the other nominees. Stay safe and keep being creative. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for taking the time. See Thank you on stage very soon, okay? See you. Bye-bye. The next uh, category is going to be the best special effects. And for that, we're going to have my uh, good friend Nate Gray joining us. Nate is actually working backstage with us uh, as a PA today. But he's much more than that. He's an actor and he's not alone. Look at that. Nate, how are you? I'm great. I'm having a little bit of connectivity issues. We see you, we hear you, and most importantly, we see your dog, which is just so cute. 
So yeah, this is Millie. It's one of the new categories we created, I think it was last year. And uh, we take into consideration all different special effects. The ones that are um, on camera, the, world that, the ones that are digital, the practical effects, we take everything into consideration. And the movies reflect that. Can Millie open the first envelope? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Best special Come effects. On. Okay. Best special effects. Here we go. For 2020. See, we have practical effects here with the real dog. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Which does not make the task easy for you, as I can see. <laughs> and the winner for best special effects is. All From Me, performed by Angela Zhang. Angela Zhang, okay. It's a music video, uh, it's a music video from Taiwan, and it's got a lot of special effects into it. Uh, Angela Zhang actually is very well known in Taiwan and in Asia, and uh, we receive from time to time uh, music videos and pieces from that uh, continent. Uh, what I can say is that category mixes uh, music videos, movies, and student films, and uh, it's a mix of it. Let's take a look at the winner. You, you, you can say it's, it's a very impressive music video. We don't see a lot of things like that in France, at least. Here a little bit more, maybe. Hey, yo, this is Austin Leo. I hope the Chinese can continue to work and let us see the world again. Thank you, Parma, for this award. Nate, you stay with us because the next category is... Editor. So the saying goes that, you know, you write your film... Best editing. Three yep. times. First, you know, when, when you write the script and then when you're filming, you tend to change things up. And then the last shot you get is when you are editing, which also gives you the time to fix things that you weren't able to, to fix during production. So it's such a, a crucial part of the entire process. So let's take a look at the nominees for best editor. And the winner for best editing is Echoes Follow, performed by Alan Moore. Alan Moore, okay. Another Congrats. music video. Congratulations to all the winners. It's, it's another nominees. music video. This one comes from Italy. And it's kind of a performance because the music video lasts nine minutes. Wow. So there's a whole long saga and story to it. The visuals are amazing. The editing plays such a... Um, a primal part to that to that show to that piece that is really a, it's really a win they deserve. Nate, thank you. Stay around. Thank you. We of need course. you back. Please okay. stay around. I'm here. Keep I'm here for you. Thank you, Nate. <laughs> and before, let's just take a quick look at the winner for best editor. You know what I mean? When I mean the editing means plays a part, you can feel the face, you can feel the work that has been done. The next category is going to be the best director of photography, the best cinematographer, like uh, some of all the friends say. And for that, we're going to be joined by Cole Sibis. Cole, are you with us? Hello. 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 You good? I'm feeling great. Cool. I saw you backstage. You were dancing to the music and everything. I, I, <laughs> love, it. I love it. 
Thank you for being with us. Uh, you are, right now you are in Los Angeles, California, and people uh, may know you, I hope they do, because you were in Stumptown, the show from ABC. It was, to me, the best show that we had on TV last year. And uh, my friend, I signed the petition because we want the show back. Ready? We do want the show oh, back. Oh, thank you. We do not agree with ABC canceling the show. Uh, we need it back. It's one of the best stuff we had on TV uh, last year. So you're here, my friend, to um, announce the best uh, DOP, best cinematographer. Let's take a look at the nominee first. Let's. And I forgot to say that you are a jury member this year to the Paris Art and Movie Awards. And I was very happy when, uh, when we got confirmation of that. We are very happy to have you in the team this year. Thank you. All right, Cole. Who is the best director of photography at PAMA 2020? The winner for the best, the DOP cinematography is... The boy, the Vultures! The Vultures! It's another French winner. Okay, let me be patriotic just a little bit. It's another French winner. It's a movie. It's an experimental film about an artist. And basically, the, um, the, the film is a piece of art as much as the guy it, it portrays in the film. Let's take a look. That's just when they smelled blood. The potential to devour. Amazing. So now we go into the best production category. Now, this category is not, you know, to reward the, you know, the best overall production as far as like sound and the best lighting and the best this. It's really to reward how each filmmaker is able to take everything at their disposal whether it's a million dollar budget or a very low budget and create this piece of art so it's definitely a very special category here at pama so let's take a look at the nominees for best production And now, the best production, we have a tie. The winners are Hong Kong Ballet Never Standing Still, directed by and produced by Dean Alexander. And the second one? The Fitzman's Diary, produced by Kane Quintus. Awesome. These are two very very different piece of work the hong kong ballet is um, a piece of dance that celebrates the hong kong ballet and their history and the fisherman diary is a feature film from cameroon that was made with passion and you know that chloe because you yeah. make uh, a one hour long interview with the guys behind, uh, I behind did. that i did it, it was it was really amazing seeing how they were able you know in cameroon to come together and, and create this magical piece of art. So I'm so happy for, for both the Hong Kong Ballet and uh, Ken Quintus and his team for The Fisherman's Diary. Let's take a look at the winners, at the clip yes. from, from the winners. I'm not going to leave. I made this kind of thing happen for you. You're not going to walk by me for some money house. It's so good. Very, it's very good. Best production at Palma 2020. It's it's surreal. You know, it's it's unbelievable. 
it's unbelievable. And to know that we're competing among 1,221 films from 73 different countries, and to be the first Cameroonian film to make it to Parma and win Best Production, it's, it's quite an honor. You know, it's, it's, it's a humbling experience, and I want to say the entire Cameroon is proud. Big congratulations to the entire the Fisherman's Diary cast and crew. Um, I also want to congratulate the other filmmakers that made it into this edition of Parma 2020. Um, thank you to the Parma team, thank you to the jury. Uh, it's, it's, it's an honor and I can guarantee you that this will not be the last Cameroonian film to make it to Parma Awards. You know, we are coming, we are coming very strong and um, we look forward to attending the next editions. Thank you and God bless you. Hi everyone. Dean Alexander here, director for the Hong Kong Ballet's Never Standing Still campaign. We are so thrilled to have been nominated uh, for Best Dance and winning for Best Production. I just wanted to say thank you not only for myself, for everybody at the Hong Kong Ballet, um, the Creative Agency Design Army, our, our intrepid uh, producer, McKeown Kim, uh, the whole film crew, and styling teams. Um, just. It was an ambitious uh, project and, and production to say the least. And it really was just a team effort. And from all of us, thank you so much. Thank you, Cole. We appreciate thank it. You, Cole. And, uh, I'm You're looking, welcome. I'm looking forward to see you in the next show, in the next film. Anything you do, shoot me an email. I'm going to support you anyway, okay? Oh, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye, Cole. Bye. -bye. Thank you, Cole. Bye. Bye. The next guest, the next presenting guest, uh, is going to be Brent Uff. Uh, Brent, can you join us? Hello. I'm here. How are you? Great. Look at you. You you get the jacket, you get the tie, you get everything. I, I mean, I look, uh, I feel like I'm naked next to you. This is important stuff. People worked hard for these awards, so I'm going to give them a little, yeah, uh, so hats great. off to them. Yeah. You, you are a jury member this year, so you watched the film, you, re you reviewed the film. Uh, you've been live with us uh, past week for a talk show too. You shared your experience. Uh, can you just say a little bit, how was it to be a jury member and to get to watch these films? Well, this is the first time I've ever been on a jury. And so I was really thrilled to do this. And then, uh, so sometimes I see films that aren't so good with this festival or awards, the movies were terrific. It was like really next level. And uh, I, you know, just the opportunity to watch so many unique filmmakers with their inspiring stories and uh, their storytelling talents, and honestly, the hard work that went into this. So uh, it was uh, not an easy choice to make with so many good films. I bet, I yeah. bet. Let's take a look at the nominees for the best director. Let's. Okay. That must have been very hard to pick a winner. Uh, well, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Let's go. All right. The award for best director in 2020 goes to, oh, let me rephrase that. Best directors, plural. Yeah, Nathan Mewitt and Curtis Taylor for the film Yulu Bitty. Terrific film. Yay, awesome. So it's uh, two friends. Uh, that made a film basically out of nothing uh, from Australia. Let's take a quick look. Hello, Wonkiki. Walter, Kiki. Nagobai, Boto. Such an atmospheric piece. Just takes us to yes. a world that we don't know Absolutely. about. It's like, yeah, terrific. Absolutely. Amazing. Congratulations to them. And now Absolutely. we go to the performer category, which includes Best Actor and Best Actress. And this year, actually, one of the films in the Best Actor category is directed by Romuald Boulanger, who actually won the Revelation Filmmaker at the Hollywood Art and Movie yes, Award. So 
article early this year in January 2020. So it's so cool to see kind of this like Pama, Hama, you know, family coming together. So let's take a quick look at the nominees for Best Actor. <laughs> Okay. Right, right. okay, here we go. Drum roll. Uh, for the best actor in 2020, the award goes to William Baldwin. William Baldwin. Yes. For, for his movie, talk. movie right. talk, which was brilliantly directed by Ron Boulanger. Very good film and uh, really a towering performance by Mr. Baldwin. Absolutely. So that's uh, the second time uh, Romeo and William win uh, with us, which is interesting because we don't have the same jury for the Hollywood Movie Awards and the Paris Art and Movie Awards. We don't even have the same categories. Some are different. So it's interesting to see that different juries in different categories are going to pick that film again. That means it's really good and we yeah. can say it is. So congrats to William Baldwin. Great. Let's take a quick look. Listen, um, Gary, you're not going to kill anybody, okay? I want you to do me a favor. We're going to stay online here. We're online. We're on the air, okay? Just take a deep breath. I just don't want you to put yourself in danger, and I don't want you to put anybody else in danger. You got that? It was the first film that I watched, and I, really? after, I saw, yeah, after I watched it, I go, this might be the best short film I've ever seen. That was my first wow. thought. It wow. was really powerful. So, and there were only thirteen that you had to judge. I know, yeah. So, but a lot of them were really good. So, yeah. uh, kudos to all the filmmakers. Amazing. You know, they're all winners. Yes. Brent. Thank you, Brent. Thank, Thank you very you. much. You're doing a great job. I love it. See you in a soon. Okay. Okay, so next guest we're gonna receive is Ken Samuels. Ken, are you with us? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm very happy to be here. You're here. So, I gotta say, you may be the only guy tonight to be from Paris, France. So, thank you for that. I'm holding it down, Ken. <laughs> wow, gotta go down in history. That's great. Yeah, you're gonna go down in history. Uh, speaking of yeah. history, I gotta say, you yes. and I, we've got history. We've made a movie. Yes, we do. We've, and I've been, I've been tough, you've been tough, but the movie's good in the end. Hey, that's, that's what it takes. I mean, <laughs> you, always have to, you always have to jump through hoops and you have to jump over obstacles to have something that you can be proud of afterwards. If it's not yeah. difficult, then Which is uh, you, yeah, what's the meaning for, of it? And that's why I just wanna say, uh, especially this year, jumping through hoops and obstacles with this crazy time we're going through. Um, a lot of credit for all these films that you're introducing and showing here. For the artists, for the technicians, for everyone, it's not easy. And I'm very happy you're here with us uh, tonight because you were in, on the Champs-Élysées with us, I guess it was in 2018, when we were yeah. on the Balzac uh, movie theater. And remember you taking a lot of pictures on the street because uh, you've been starring in uh, OSS 117 with Jean Dujardin uh, and yes. many other films. So when yes. you get to grab a cup of coffee with Ken in Paris, you cannot spend like 15 minutes alone with him because people just come well, and join, ask for. <laughs> now it's a few years later. So yeah, you can. So uh, let's take a look at the nominees for the best actress. Okay. I'm, I'm always happy to present the best actress of 2020. And this year, um, it goes to Natalia Ryuminia for her extraordinary performance in The Inheritance, the Inheritance. directed by Chad Barger and Kevin 
Speckmeyer. Speckmeyer, exactly. She should be, she should be very happy. Uh, like the movie you and I did, Natalia is almost in every shot of the film. So she's really carrying the film on her shoulders and she's giving a great performance. Take, let's take a look at it. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Kiev. I am Angelica. You must be Sasha. Angelica, of course. Hi, nice to meet you. This is my husband, Peter. Um, you gave us a bit of a fright. Okay, it's a horror film. So it's a horror a lot, film. Okay. It's a horror film. There's a lot of moody stuff and moody elements and ghosts and more than that, but I cannot tell too much because I don't want to spoil it. Hello, everyone. Uh, wow, <laughs> I would like to say huge heartfelt thanks to Pama and the wonderful judges for this award. And of course, to our most fantastic The Inheritance team, to Chad and uh, Kevin for making it possible in the first place. Thank you. Right. They can watch it on Cinecaps for one more week. They can watch okay. it also for one more week on the replay, absolutely. Let's move to the best student short film. Yes. yes. Now this is such a special no. category because it's where, it's how Pema originated. You know, Pema started um, just with student films. It's, it's the first, it's the original category. So I, I love the student category because it really shows you, you know, the, the new generation of, of filmmakers. And I used to say, you know, these are the filmmakers of the future. But then when you see these student films, it's like, no, 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 these are the, the, the filmmakers of today. Like they are making art today. So it, it's really exciting. And the ones at the festival are just amazing. You're so right. They're, yeah, You're they're so great. right. It's unbelievable when you see the, the student films that are happening today. I mean, with all the different software and with the talent that they have, the, uh, the well of talent that they have to work with, they create films today that, you know, 15 years ago uh, would have seemed extraordinary. And yeah. even today they seem extraordinary. I mean, the, these students are so habile on all the technical side as well as the emotional side. It's yeah. quite amazing to watch. It yeah, really it's great to see them take advantage of that. You know. Let's take a look at the nominees. For the best student film for 2020, this year it goes to Modern Animals, yeah. which I love, <laughs> by <laughs> Filippo Savoia. Savoia. It's, uh, oh, it's, a, it's a pretty intense movie, uh, and you, everything you can expect from the title, I think you're going to get when you watch it. Right? Let's take a look. Yeah. It, I, <laughs> I've heard about this. Yeah. Well, no one will shut up about it. I get it. Small town, big tragedies. And people talk, but nobody cares. So you have to. It's, an, it's also an incredible performance by uh, Christopher. Uh -huh. uh, it's it's very intense. You should watch it. Thank you, Paris Art and Movie Awards, for this very successful European premiere. I am speechless and grateful for this. Uh, thanks to the jury, and thanks to the hard workers behind Modern Animals. Um, and a special shout out to Christopher Cotton for the amazing performance and Dan Bat for the cinematography and my amazing producer, Miranda Guzman. Ken, thanks a lot. Yes. Thanks for being with us. Hey. Thanks for joining us from Paris. You represent Paris. Yes. So, Great. a new jazz hey, boy uh, representing Paris to the Paris Autumn Movie Awards. I it's a real honor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. Keep on doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. <laughs> All right. Take care. We're going to be joined now by another great actor, and the guy is a legend. Do we have Fred the Hammer Williamson with us? Yes. Fred, are you here? Hello, yes. Fred. Tell me, why do people call you Fred the Hammer Williamson? Well, I had a very uh, glorious pro football career. And to keep my uniform clean and not get dirty when I tackle people. I used to hit them with a strong forearm and knock them down. And that's why I was called a hammer. Wow. Trying to maintain my tidiness on the football field. Nice. And you kept 
that nickname when you went into acting later? Well, it's something that stuck with you. It's a, it's a name that you earn. You know, everybody yeah. has nicknames, but mine I earned. So you're here to present the best French short film. Let's uh, take a look at the nominees. The best French short film is da 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 Mera Obscura, directed by Mary Noel Dana and Sonia Saif. Amazing. And we have a tie for this one. Ah, uh, yes. We have a tie. Divertimento. 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 Va bene. Okay. Allora. So we have a tie with Camera Obscura and Divertimento. Divertimento is a French film produced in France, shot in France, but with American actors and the director is French. Hi, I'd like to thank all the team behind the, the film festival, all the members of the jury. I'd like to thank on behalf of all the team and all the cast. As a French filmmaker, best French short means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Oh. Let's take a look. Bonjour tout le monde. On s'embrasse pas, on s'aime déjà, puis on n'a pas le temps. Donc, aujourd'hui, on sort de sa zone de confort. On fait bouger les lignes. Vous avez reçu le brief et le mood board, c'est clair pour tout le monde. On veut du graphique flou, de la légèreté contrôlée, du habillé, pas habillé. On veut la vraie vie, quoi. There was once this castle, huge and silent. Tell the secret inside. Something terrifying. Checkmate with the Queen, Jonas. The game is over and you lost. I won't let you forget what you did that night. Otherwise, yeah. we stick in the international category for PAMA, which is the next category that we're going into now. Yes, and yes. this year, we actually received movies from 72 different countries. Wow. So it was a lot of submissions and a lot of great, great submissions. And some PAMA alumni uh, include Russell Manuel and Attila Rostas. Russell uh, submitted a couple of years ago with uh, another feature film, and uh, he's, uh, he was selected to the best music category. And Attila actually uh, submitted the script, uh, a short script. It was two years ago, if I'm correct. And uh, he made the film in between and he submitted the film. And the film is as amazing as the script was. I so love that. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the nominees. Let's. The winner is Talk. Talk. Directed by Talk, directed by Romuald Boulanger. That's the second win for Talk uh, tonight after William Baldwin won uh, Best Performer. Let's take another look. Paul, you should cry. You deserve it. I mean, you're grief stricken, okay? You're entitled to these feelings and you should feel them because it's the healthy thing to do. He's a self proclaimed billionaire that won't let you see his tax returns. He's a self proclaimed genius. He won't let you see his report cards. You only see his grades in college. I mean, the guy's a clown. The movie is is gripping. It's it's amazing. You should again. Let's uh, let's catch up on a replay to the, on cinecapsule.com to watch all the wonderful films, winner or not, that we had this year. Hi, um, on the behalf of the whole team of airlines, I am thrilled about this news. Two awards at the Paris Art Movie Awards. 
Thank you so much, guys. And uh, vive Paris, vive uh, les arts, vive les films, et vive les awards. So, vive Paris Art and Movie Awards. Thank you, guys. Fred, we really appreciate you taking the time and putting on a suit to come with us and well, announce. I wish I, I wish I was there. That's even more important for me. Yes, yeah, next time. Next time, we're gonna yes. we're gonna send you a helicopter. We're gonna we're gonna get you to I'm Paris. No helicopter. Still Superman. He's safer. <laughs> okay, we will. We will. Thank, Thank you. you, Fred. Right, now, so the next guest uh, to uh, present the festival special mention is no Superman. But I guess it could be with the right costume. Let's welcome Gianmarco Tavani. Are you with us, Gianmarco? Hello. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. How are you? I'm Look very good. You all dressed up. Oh my God. Yeah, I was ready for the ceremony. My limousine just parked over here. So I'm ready. Excellent. And, uh, and all are... my family is ready. Uh, my grandfather, my grandmother, my mom, everybody. Okay. Okay. They weren't too. To, to... Too overwhelming. The red carpet was, was nice. <laughs> we were ready. The family was ready. But anyway. I love it. Amazing. You are a jury member of this year, so you had the chance to um, watch a lot of films. We are at the special mention. Special mention. Okay. Special mention is. It's a category we created last year okay. to uh, reward a film that. Uh, didn't win anything uh, with the judges, but the movie was so amazing, it could not be left alone. So this year, we got kind of the same feeling, and the festival team, the festival management, decided to acknowledge a great achievement in filmmaking by renewing the special mention. So let's play uh, just a short clip, and then we're going to be back. So you have the great privilege, Gianmarco, you have the great privilege to open the envelope to announce this year's envelope. 2020 envelope. The envelope arrived just now and the winner is London, by London Arabia. London Arabia. By Daniel Jewell. By Daniel Jewell. All right. Oh my God. We should have done that before. I know. I'm looking at that. I'm like, what am I doing? I should have confetti. <laughs> we should have confetti. Oh my God. Okay, so we have confetti because you are in Milan right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Milan. Uh, That's it. Very joyful for London Arabia. And then yes. you'll be perfect. Yes. Let's take a let's take a look at the at the at the clip for London Arabia. I've lived here for 20 years. I'm not running. This is my home. It might not be so bad, boss. The staff, they could find other jobs. <laughs> With their papers, huh? Without this place, they will be on the next flight back home. Such it, a good film. Such a good film. And this prize really um, awards the whole film, the, the ensemble cast, the script, the performances, the direction, uh, the cinematography and all the effort they put in to make that film. Um, the movie is having a great success in a lot of film festivals, and we are very happy to join the ranks to give them another award and push them, because they are going to make a feature film out of it. So we're looking forward to that. Hi, my name is Navi Nigapon. I would like to thank Paris Art and Movie Awards for giving London Arabia a special mention award. Thank you so much. We are very grateful. Great. Amazing. And Great. speaking of feature films, we have gotten to the last category. The, last category. the most important moment. Yes, <laughs> no pressure. Oh, no. <laughs> so feature films that have been selected at the PAMA Festival, like Matt mentioned earlier on, have gone on to receive distribution deals and, and have been selected at other uh, major film festivals like the Toronto International Film Festival. And this year, the feature films are from four different countries. So we have France, Canada, the US, and for the first time here at PAMA from Cameroon. So let's take a look at the nominees for best feature film. I 
it's Gianmarco. All right, I'm ready. The envelope. Yeah. I'm very cu curious to know who win this prize. No, it's my favorite one. Unbelievable. Vagabonds, directed Vagabonds. by Philippe Dajou. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> French, the, uh, the only French film uh, selected for Best Feature Film this year. We had an amazing talk with all cast uh, last week, uh, and we have a lot of confetti in Milan. Let's take a look at Vagabonds. <laughs> we are so happy, so happy. Mais t'as vu l'heure? Je t'ai déjà dit de ne pas venir me déranger euh, à l'ouverture. Moi, j'ai une équipe à gérer. J'ai des rondes à caler. Ça va, ça va. Oui. Oh, Marseille, va. Euh, tu vas aller faire tes rondes. Hein. T'as mis du champagne. Non. Arrête, mais tu vas me faire virer à cause de tes conneries. Mais arrête, il a été payé ce champagne. J'ai même la facture et tout. Regarde, il n'y a même pas d'antivol. Hop. Sorry. Too much compet. <rire> the emotion, the emotion of my first time in the jury, you know, Max. <rire> Merci le PAMA, merci tout le jury du PAMA de nous avoir décerné ce prix du meilleur long métrage pour Vagabond. Thank you very much the PAMA, thank you very much all the jury of the PAMA to give us this prize of the best feature film for Vagabond. On est très heureux et très fiers de recevoir ce prix. We are very proud and very happy to receive this prize. On veut partager ce prix avec tous les jeunes dans la rue. We want to share this prize with all the young people in the street. Merci encore. Thank you again. Congratulations to Vagabond yes. and uh, thank you to the jury for all of this uh, great work. We reached the end, Chloe. We, this, is, this is it. We, we rewarded everybody. We gave all the awards away. So what can we say? We have to thank everyone now. Yes. Oh my God. Do you hear that? Yes. Okay, so let's say we're going to send the award certificates to the winners uh, uh, later today. Uh, we have the replay of all the films and all the content of the festival on Cine Capsule right now and to October 4. I would like to uh, thank you, Chloe, because you directed the show. You've been here to push all the clips and to direct the show. You didn't so make any uh, <laughs> you, Oregon, do we have Oregon? Can you join us? Yes. Uh, backstage because you pushed the banners and all the information about the dinner. Do we have Nate? No, we don't. We have uh, just this picture. Uh, he was coordinating with all the judges and all the, uh, all the presenting guests tonight. Thank you, Nate. Um, I had the pleasure once again, it's a ten time to host and present the awards ceremony of the Paris Art and Movie Awards. I would like to thank all the jury members uh, and especially those who took part in the awards ceremony and took time out of it to uh, join us. Maybe Fred can join us too, I see he's still back oh, there. Uh, thank you to all the filmmakers who trusted us with their submissions. The festival is nothing without the movies and the movies are yours. So thank you for your trust. Thank you, James Morrison, for the masterclass that you gave us. It's amazing. If you missed it, catch it up on uh, Cine Capsule. Thank you to all the talents, uh, talent agents and managers we're working with to access the jury members and to find time out of their schedules so they can watch and review the films. Special thanks to Olivier Nelly, long time friend, long time accomplice in movie making, uh, for helping us with all the Q&As and the editing. Thank you, Oregon, for all the work you do that nobody ever sees because it's backstage. Uh, thank you, Chloe, for hosting with me and hosting many events and doing the Q&As. Thank you, Arnaud, Tovino, Adrien, Berto, Erin, Rain, Pauline, Anthony Capsule, and the master, the king, Walid Shaya, for yeah. helping us to make the Q&As happen and take them in advance for the festival, all live. Um, thank you, Laura, Cine Capsule, and all the team at Cine Capsule. And the the team, the team, we could not have done what we did this year with the festival. Uh, thank you to the California Senator, Shannon Grove, who sent us a very nice message to introduce the international short films this year. Thank you to our longtime partner, Final Draft, who's going to give away some softwares for the winners. Thank you to the Disability Film Challenge, who we are partnering with. Nick, big up to you. Thank you to Christophe Montmartin, Society Adventist in Paris. 
uh, shadows, the streaming platforms we're working with this year to give some uh, gifts to the winners also. And uh, last thing, the next step is the winter festival we're gonna have in Santa Monica uh, in Los Angeles. So this one is accepting, accepting films right now. Please submit because as you can see, we really are here to support filmmakers and promote everyone. Thank you for joining us. And uh, thank you for celebrating with us the 2020 anniversary of the Birds Art and Movie Awards. Okay!